Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac Tony Questions and today we're having a look at Final Cut Pro 10 and some people have asked how you can put more than one video into the frame and have them playing at the same time so what I've done here is I've uh, stacked three videos up, one on top of the other and I've set them about in the screen here so we've got this video here to the left and then we've got two videos to the right, one above the other and some black bands in between it and it's uh, one way of doing this Okay, so here we're on the video here, and what we want to do with this is we want to set it so that um, this video is lined up in the correct place. Now what's good about this is that you can use these transform tools over this side here, and you can set the position. So by moving this here, I can set exactly where that's going to be. Line it up with the uh, picture that's above it there, and I can use this here to move it up and down like that as well. So that's pretty useful. In fact, I can also use this one here for the scale. At the moment it's set to 55%. And I could change that and have it at 60%. Obviously, if I do change it to 60%, then I need to uh, change the positioning of it again. So I need to uh, get that just set there. Move the uh, X position. And get that just right as well. You can move it with the, I'm using a trackpad, you could move it also just by uh, changing the numbers in this here. So there it's set at uh, 55.9 and I can put in there 70 perhaps. And that puts it into a particular position. Let's change that back to 55 again. Maybe what I can do with this one here is if I go to this one, that's the one at the top there. Well, it seems like I've uh, changed this one here rather than I change the position of it. I've actually just select a, a portion of the uh, video by using the trim tool so here I've got the left set with using this here look that's our trim tool so trimming off whatever's to the left of the picture there and you can do the same with the right you can trim that way too and I've trimmed off the top and I've trimmed a bit off the bottom too so you can see that's uh, quite easy that way to get some pictures onto your screen so uh, this one here has done, been done with a crop and a little bit of positioning as well. So let's change that to uh, 50 and see what happens there. So that's just moved it over to the left there. If I put it back to um, 33, that was wrong, wasn't it? So it should be uh, minus 33. There we go, so that's worked now. So uh, that's one way of setting things up so that you can have your movies all within the same screen space, as it were, and all playing at the same time. And let's just play it so you can see what it looks like. One more thing I should mention with this as well is that with this here, I've had to turn the sound right down on this one here. And I'll take it back up again, look. Basically, that's the way of choosing whichever sound... I want from those three clips. Uh, mixing them all together wouldn't be a very good idea. What I can do as well though is I could detach audio and then take that there and delete it so now it's gone completely out of the way. There's two lots of audio playing there. What I'm going to do again is I'm going to detach audio. The audio is down at the bottom there look. And delete it. So now I've just got the one audio in there which is this one at the bottom that's all working very nicely indeed and there is another way that you could do this what we're going to do now is we're going to select these three things here and delete them and the other way to do this is to go to the generators tab over here and go to split screen now these are screens that I've got from Crumple Pop there's one there just set up the same way as I have the other one there and this basic vertical 2 and a triangle Y now I found these to be very slow in the way that they work, but let's just give it a try anyway. Let's give it a try with the simple one first of all. Double click on that. It doesn't recognise the properties on there, so we'll just click OK for the moment. And let's just select a bit of movie. Then we've got two bits here. Look, so we've got this here. I'm going to go up to here and I'm going to select. So I'm marking in point there. Let's take that and select five seconds of movie from that. So there's my five seconds. And I'm going to apply clip. So now I've got five seconds of movie into that half of the image there. And now I'm going to go back to this again. 
and I'll click on that. No, I'll click on this here. The right, and I'm going to select some video for this. Let's get something completely different. Let's take this bit here. So an end point. Young ladies in some acrobatics, lovely, and a bum showing. So there we've got five seconds of video there. I'll press the F key, so I've favorited it, so I can find it again if I need to. And I'm just going to apply the clip to that one. So now I've got my two bits of video in a uh, screen there, split screen. Today's actually worked fairly quickly to make this video, so let's have this playing and see what happens. I have no audio with this at all, but that's okay. We can uh, get other audio to put over the top of this. Maybe you could uh, take this section here. Uh, if I want the audio from that, let's move the uh, playhead over here. And if I press the uh, Q button, and I'm going to detach audio. And this time I'm going to just delete that bit at the top. So now I've got the just the audio from that clip. It's probably an easier way of doing that, but still. Gosh, that girl's very energetic, isn't she? Okay, so that's another way of making a clip using the split screen. I managed to get these Crumple Pop split screen X things for free. And say there's other ones there like the triangle Y shape. And obviously if you're going to use a triangle Y shape, it's good to use this here because it's probably a lot more difficult to do that the other manual way that I showed you. Using some split screen, uh, some generators and also putting it in manually using Final Cut Pro. Bye-bye now. So thanks for clicking on the like in YouTube there. So why don't you subscribe to Wizard Gold Mac 20 Questions and every time I've got a new video out you're going to be the first to know about it. Bye-bye now.